a no-nonsense, no-intro guide to the SMGs of Into the Radius as a version 2.0. I'll be showing off all the bugs and tests I've discovered in my roughly 10 hours of SMG-only gameplay to help analyse and contrast each weapon's strengths and weaknesses. The video will be broken up into three parts. An SMG ammo guide, general SMG tips, followed by the deep dive and tier list of each SMG. Now first things first, in Into the Radius, ammo is always way more important than the actual weapon you use. As we should all know, FMJ and SS are garbage late game, so the ammo for choice for SMGs is either AP or plus P. Plus P does 100% more damage compared to AP, while costing 25% more. However, AP has a 90% penetration chance, whereas plus P has a 70%. It may seem like a deal breaker, but to avoid boring everyone out, plus P is far superior, as I've shown in my previous pistol guide. Using binomial probabilities, I found that there is over a 99% chance that you'd be better off using plus P. As a result, it'll be assumed that every gun will be running plus P. You can pause the video to see the math if you're a crying AP user. Next, I need to talk about these SMGs in general. Firstly, the upgrades for them are useless as there are no pros or cons to increasing or reducing their rates of fire. It's also useless as anything above a 3 round burst is completely uncontrollable. Secondly, the SMGs are very glitchy. The MP5 has a bullet glitch where if you empty a clip and reload, it'll just generate a bullet for you out of thin air. The MP5 and PP91 also have small iron sight bugs which cause the bullets to hit way lower or higher than expected. Where are you meant to line these irons up, man? Both bugs are non-existent whenever you put a sight on, so I won't consider these bugs in the tier list. The PPSH on the other hand is fucking infuriating. In testing, I saw that sometimes the PPSH would skip a bullet when shooting at a constant rate of fire. It was completely random and affected both versions of the gun, occurring in both full and semi-auto. I didn't think much of it at the time because it just skips a bullet, like no biggie, right? I put myself through four hours of this fucking bullshit. No, I'm not sitting there holding my gun for fun. The PPSH is actually that unplayable. Oh, there you go, holy shit. It genuinely just refuses to shoot. Extremely infuriating and unplayable bugs aside, for the sake of future proofing this guide, I'm gonna not take this into account as if this bug gets patched tomorrow, then me giving it an E tier rating would just make no sense at all. But as a public service announcement, do not buy any PPSH. I'll keep the description up to date with whether or not the PPSH is usable yet or not though. Now, let's enter the magical, magical world, world of a functional, functional PPSH, PPSH and get straight into the analysis. Disclaimer, all four SMGs are extremely viable guns, so just literally use whatever you want. And I mean it, because if you can look at the stat sheet, they all do pretty much the same damage, all have 30 round mags, and rates of fire that literally don't matter because 3 round bursting is the only way you can use them. So I'm not even going to do a tier list this video, as the real differences between them are in their use cases. On paper, they legit all look like reskins, but in reality, here's what I found after using them for over 10 hours. We can break the SMGs into two separate groups, the working PPSHs and the silenced SMGs. Now the silenced SMGs can snipe enemies with ease from any range without ever being detected, which is crucial to survival late game and in Iron Man runs. In the MP5 vs PP91 argument, you have the MP5, which has a better accuracy, better velocity, and better damage than the Keter. However, the Keter's only perk is the fact that it weighs half a kilo less than the MP5. However, both guns are super lightweight options compared to the PPSH. Now, in the PPSH vs PPSH argument, you have a smaller, lighter, minutely less accurate PPSH versus a bigger, bulkier, slightly more accurate PPSH. Both guns don't have suppressors though. As I showed with the pistol guide, the TT has high velocity, which equals sniper rifle. Same goes with the PPSH. High velocity equals limitless range. This thing can full auto in buildings and then tap fire at ranges so far that the AI doesn't even react to it. Also, please run the 35 round mags with it. 
Yeah, the, the drum is cool. It gives you double the ammo capacity, but at five times the weight. I personally prefer the small PPSH because I feel it's a lot easier to handle due to how short it is. Also, it weighs a lot less and the five accuracy decrease isn't really that much in my opinion. Another possible deciding factor between choosing a silenced SMG or a working PPSH is the fact that you'll need to constantly repair suppressors. Burst firing guns wears out suppressors very quickly. So be sure to pack two suppressors because one will break literally before you get back to base. If you're someone who likes to min max profits, and are concerned about the repair costs, that could be a deciding factor for you. So like I said, there is no tier list. You choose whatever gun suits you best. Are you trying to take things slow and methodical? Choose one of the silence guns. Are you hypothetically trying to use a powerful all-round gun at the cost of weighing more without being suppressed? Use either PPSH. You cannot lose here with any SMG, but if we were to fuck the hypothetical right off and do a review right now of the guns as of 2.1.3, you have two options, the MP5 or the PP91. I personally use the PP91 because the MP5 is arguably the most overpowered gun in the game, and I'm not a guy who likes stinky cheesy strats. But be sure to check the description to see if the PPSH is still working as of this current day. And that's it from me. I hope you all learnt something from this video, and I wish you all a good day, night, or evening as you continue to beg with me for a PPSH fix. Says. In the Nikes on my feet, keep my sight complete. Like, 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 like.